Now, a bit of career advice due to the extensive experience that I've got over 20 years in software development industry in New Zealand, as well as a educator, you know, in tertiary institutions. Now, I have to share some of my experiences and let's go over a presentation. So I will expand a bit of the points that I have, I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. So this will be the career advice for software career experience. As I just told you, I will walk you through. My name is Kaushik Roy Chaudhary. So first problem is the first point I would like to discuss is work on problem solving approach. Now, what does the problem solving approach mean? In short, it is a, a knack or an a attitude for trying to find a solve solution for a problem. You know, every um, assignment or every project in a software development um, scenario has some problem. So read the problem statement first and try to find a solution through extensive research and through your skills and through your logical mind. And then you should avoid spending hours learning syntax and semantics of a programming language such as C sharp because you know it it's freely available on the internet anyway and um, your employees will never um, disallow you from looking at the internet because you have to extensively do research on MSDN, Stack Overflow and many other blogs and forums so, and also Microsoft you know, documentation is proper so you can find out all the semantics of languages and uh, you have to understand the business logic within the existing application. Suppose you have been asked to extend or you know um, maintain an existing application you are working for a project in a company or in for your um, you know even for domestic use personal use you have to first understand the business logic you have to first go deep into understanding how the problem is uh, how the application is working that is the business logic the next point is you have to try to develop your problem solving ability to come up with a solution first okay now once you have come up with a problem solving attitude, then that will be applicable to every type of problem, you know, be it a practical problem in your life, it will always be helpful. And you have to then have a firm grasp of your programming language of choice to transform your solution into an application. And you have to side by side develop some soft skills like patience, perseverance, and a never say die attitude, as these will be required in plenty. Because in a software development career, you will be uh, coming with lots of errors and issues and you have to with your stable and cool mind you have to use your logical brain with lots of patience and you know calmness of nature which will be called in plenty now you have to these days this is a social media age so you need to build your network and portfolio first on link linkedin and then on github you know that is a source control and stack overflow for issues if you solve some issues over stack overflow and then that will actually increase your stature in the eyes of the developers all about the all over the world okay and other social media platforms say if you have joined in a facebook group try to post some um, solution to some problems someone's um, give some idea and advice on people's different uh, questions and please refrain from posting anything publicly on social media groups that doesn't make sense and because the this is necessary because employees I've seen often get a sense of your personality looking at your public posts and they try to analyze your um, psychology because they are expert in getting deep into the person's character through these posts. And you need to network with like-minded people by joining and participating in technical meet meetups such as .NET meetup or Azure meetup, something like that, which is near to your location which is near to your uh, in your city and near to your location if you're living in a uh, big city and often it helps to compete in coding challenges online you will come across many coding challenges if you are interested and also face to face and whenever you get the opportunity in your colleges or schools and that helps you to build your portfolio and impress your prospective employers 
Finally, the important message that I would like to give you that comes through a lifetime of working in the industry is never stop learning, never stop evolving. So while you might be very confident about your ability and your professors and academicians in your universities and tertiary institution have made uh, you quite ready for the software industry. But when you actually go to the software industry, you will find you will be lacking in skills and you have to start learning and you have to be uh, polite to your superiors and try to grasp as many, many concepts in a short time. So you have to keep on learning throughout your life, in fact, and in the process, you'll always evolve yourself. So that's about the career advice. Thank you. So that's a quick fire explanation about the points that I wanted to discuss with you in very brief. Hope um, it will prove of some value to you, at least in your software forthcoming career. And I wish you good luck.